Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to continue with episode number 50 of our Skyrim series. Um, today we're just going to kind of kick back, relax, and start working on our house some more. So we're going to take all of this. Um, I think we're going to start in the cellar today. So let's go ahead. Let's see, armor workbench would be nice. Forge, what do we need? We need iron fittings. Two iron fittings at least. Shrine vase, I'll make that. Okay, so we want the grindstone, iron fittings, iron fittings. So we want those two just real quick. There we go. Now we have the forge, grindstone. We'll make one of these. Why not some mounted bear heads? I also need a smelter. That's two more iron fittings. Let's go ahead and make those real quick. This is honestly where we'll probably move like a lot of our weapons and armor um, just so that we can kind of upgrade them down here. Okay, so we needed a smelter. Shelves. Let's go ahead and just make as many of these as we can. Okay, weapon rack. We can make a mannequin. Iron fitting, iron fitting. So we need like seven fittings just for that. Okay, so we're gonna need more steel, more hinges, more locks. So let's see, let's kind of start with one of these. So we need what? We need like three locks, three fittings, and another set of hinges. So three locks, three fittings, and another set of hinges. Hinges. Fittings and locks. Also, we'll go ahead and we should have some ore that we can do up. So, steel is corundum and iron. We'll just go ahead and make up some steel. Silver, we can make up. Moonstone. Malachite, Ocalium, Iron, and then Corundum we already did the steel out of. Okay, so now we should have a little bit more. And just so you guys are aware, this is going to be another Hour of Power episode. 
So, look forward to that. Alright, so we just need more steel, more hinges, more locks for those. We need oh, seven iron fittings. We need more straw. Antlers, antlers, saber teeth. More fittings. Let's see, we need one, two, three, four, five. So five, six, seven, twelve. We need twelve fittings. I don't think I have that much iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we so we need to go get some more iron before we can really continue with anything else. Okay. So I think the first things I want to do are these weapon racks, just because I'm a really big fan of them. And then we can come down here and do these scorns. And that should leave one. Perfect. So we'll deal with that later. Um, yes, so adds weapon racks down here. It's even lit up a little bit more. We still need to do all of those, which we'll get to. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see if there's anything we can just make that we need. So I need an amulet of Talos. So I don't think we can do that until we get the quest done. Amulet of Stendar plus Quicksilver. Amulet of Mara. We need a lot of stuff for that still. Let's, see, is it, let's go grab our amulets real quick. Come back down here and see if we can, can't put any more in. Miss any? Just making sure. Okay. Wrong button. And back down we go. So I can make the amulet of Mara right now. Uh, we don't have any Quicksilver. We need an iron ingot for that one. Iron ingot and flawless amethyst. Draw. Okay, so we need iron. We need just more building material in general. So let's slowly make our way over to the chest. We're gonna need some more glass too, more goat horns.
Okay. So let's go ahead. We'll, we'll go, uh... So I we got some time, so I think what we'll do is we'll take our carriage to Whiterun, shop in Whiterun, make our way to Riverwood, shop in Riverwood, uh, and then we can use one of our fast travels to get back home. Lydia, what do right you have? How can I serve you, my thing? Okay, so she's good. She's good. Let's get going then. Where do you want to go? Let's go to White Run. Climbing back, and we'll be off. I think one of these streams will just have to use this guy and go to but all the I'm different areas. Time, I always visit the guild mm -hmm. Never hurts to pay your respects to Lady Kinnerith. I know it's still um kind of cuz what I'm thinking is we'll just keep like fast traveling back home. And then we can use him to go to all the different locations that we haven't been yet. Um unfortunately that will be a little kind of I don't know if because I am trying to limit myself with the amount of fast traveling and we have hit episode 50 um, and you know we've stuck through it I, I ended up giving myself like one fast travel during like the you know normal episodes hour of power I give myself two um, but I definitely think it's something that I mean, look at all this like area we've explored and haven't explored so I definitely want to like come in here and like explore more also if you guys have not picked already be sure to let me know what DLC you want me to start with whether it's the dragonborn or the dawn guard if it's the dawn guard let me know if you want me to do the vampire hunter and the vamp or a vampire um, also keep in mind that if I do choose the vampire, I won't be able to become a werewolf. So, there's that. That's another reason I haven't really gone too far in the companion quest line just yet. Need something? Okay, so, what time is it? Let's go ahead and wait. About seven. Just because I do like to play while it's still daytime. Okay, let's go into War Maidens. I need iron for sure. Welcome to War Maid. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I will take all of that. Plus your iron ore. I also need steel, so let's just buy all that. Good doing business with you. Okay, and then is that other chick outside yet? Or got some I don't claim to be the best. Take a look. The finest weapons and armor. More iron. Iron ore. We'll also take the steel. Okay. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Divine smile on you, friend. You know what's wrong with Elithor. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. 
Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, let's see what he has. I do need glass. Goat horns, I will take all of those. Also, I need some straw. That's a good amount of straw. Okay. Do come back. And I, spend a lot of time I guess we can go check with Yorland real quick because he does sell stuff too. This way we get as much iron and steel as possible. Got a lot of steel to shape. Huh, so I guess I could get a weapon. Yes, lad. You've been raised into the companions, I hear. I can fashion whatever kind of weapon you want. Finest forge in Skyrim, right here before you. Honestly, we'll just take the great sure sword. You can handle that. <laughs> of course you can. Alright, now let's. Mm -hmm. Gods be praised. So honestly, we can come in here, grab some more iron. I do want this corundum. And steel. Also, he should have... Oh, he doesn't have it? Oh, the wolf armor. Ooh, it's a little pricey. Let's... Perfect. Mm -hmm. So with the companions, you actually get... A set of wolf armor is pretty cool um let's see let's throw back on and then we also need the ebony blade back i've got your back how can i serve you my thing now oh, lydia Lead on. Still carrying too much? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Let's see. We'll give her the steel, the iron, iron ore, corundum. There we go. You lead, I'll follow. Now we can make our way to Riverwood. shouldn't I? Just because I'm a gray mane doesn't mean I can't earn my own key. I didn't mean... 
come to chat with an old woman? Hmm? No, I did not. Okay, so now we're gonna pretty much make our way to Riverwood and then we can go back home. I think we're gonna have enough like iron and whatnot. I hope at least. I also don't have a lot of money left. So hopefully that's something I don't need too much of. We did get a bunch of goat horns too. So that's a that's a dragon. I don't know if he's going to fight me or if he's just going to kind of mind his own business. So I don't know with defeating Alduin if uh, that's a thing. Because it really seems like he doesn't want anything to do with me. You already know I gotta grab the wolf pelt. I only killed that deer to see if I could get some large antlers. All right, we're going to start with the Riverwood Trader. Thank you and me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Glass. Straw. Little bit of iron. And he has some goat horns. Perfect. All right then. Whatever. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Iron. Take that. Take two of that. Good day. Okay, that's all I can take for now. Um, let's go ahead and actually, I did say that we would just use the fast travel. It is going to save some time. 
There we go. So this should actually save quite a bit of time instead of running all the way there. And then we have a little bit more time to actually sit there and work on our house rather than walking back, I guess. And besides, we're about almost to the halfway point, so I have no problem using one of my fast travels. Okay. So we can come on in here, grab all that stuff again. I've got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lead on. Yeah, let her deal with him. Okay. Now that they're dealt with, Lydia, I need I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my friend? Well, I need all of this honestly I'll take the wolf stuff from her later Lead on. slow and steady Okay. So we can make archery target now. And we can make that. Quicksilver. We need more moonstone. Quicksilver. Flawless Amethyst. I could always check. Alright, let's go up. See if we have a, flat, a Flawless Amethyst real quick. Because that'll be another shrine. I do have a flawless amethyst. That right there is why I uh, don't sell too many gems or anything. Plus you can end up making jewelry and why not, you know? So. Plus there's a couple quests where like they're like, hey, bring me like a flawless this or something like that. So iron fitting. I'm going to need 10 locks, 10 hinges. Okay, let's go do that real quick. Ten of those. Am I able to? No. Worth a try. Um, actually. Gonna go from 19 to 23. So 
So I'll do the Skyforge Steel Sword also. Safe. Safe. Wall scoring. And honestly, that's going to kind of fill out this a little bit more. I say we just need to get some more shrines in here. Um, we got the safes down there and over there. I say this way I can organize just kind of all my stuff. So we'll go up. We'll start working on another room. Um, just because all that's left for that room is the mounts and whatnot. Let's see, what do we got back here? Let's see, is that actually... Yes. So four fittings and a set of hinges. All I know is actually building a house kind of upgrades your smithing a lot. Let's see, that should be. If anything, we'll run out of nails. Yep. So we just need a couple more sets of nails, real quick. iron fitting and these are just mounts so let's grab an iron fitting I say mounts and shrines I'm not a, too worried about it's like the rest of this stuff iron fitting Okay, so that's just gonna leave the mounts for here. Let's check this back room. That oh, looks like I finished it because there's no... So I'll go ahead and just shut the door. Um, what about the bedroom? Bedroom done? Bedroom is done. Okay, what about here? No, this one is not done. Actually, I always do a double thing just because sometimes this kind of glitches out. Saber cat head. Okay. So we just need Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for an old village. Now, last but not least, we just need to check. Okay, so that's that. That's good then. Then we just need up here. Oh yeah, this is a lot of stuff still. So we need two fittings. Let's see, those I'm not too worried about right now. So two fittings, three fittings, four fittings, five fittings, six fittings, seven, eight fittings. Let's go make the eight fittings real quick. Make what we can, and then we'll come back, and then we'll make the rest of the stuff. 
honestly, our house is almost done, guys. I say, minus a few uh, mounts and whatnot. But we'll get there. So I need eight fittings. See what I mean? Like we've already leveled up our smithing. A couple times today. 72 for two-handed already? So we're already at 46. Let's say we need 60 for this. We do need 50 for Orcish though. And so that's gonna be kind of one of my targets before too long. Like I said, I do have like a lot of leather and stuff. I could always just make a bunch of leather armor, sell it, throw it away, just do whatever with it. Okay. So we need two hinges and a lock. Hinges, hinges, hinges. So let's about three crafts of hinges and a lock. I can do that. That is definitely something I can do. Then honestly, all we really have to do is just go animal hunting. One, two, three. And a lock. Now back up the stairs we go. We can also see what we do have for like the um, ingredients I guess because I know some of them I need like large antlers, small antlers. I could always make a list too. That should finish up that. So it's just large antlers, saber cat teeth. All right, let's see. Let me, let me write this down real quick. Okay, grab my pen. Doesn't help that I dropped the paper. Okay, so saber teeth. So far, we got two large antlers. So far, one. Okay, so that's up, that's it for up there. And then for this one, we need another large antler. Bedroom is done. Um, that front room is done. Let's see, the armory, we need Two more saber teeth. Did 
Didn't I say that back room was done? Yeah, I think so. So I'll just... Another large antler. Slaughterfish scales. I need four. Alright, let me double check to make sure this room's actually done and we don't have... Okay, we don't have a workbench. Now, the part that's gonna... What we need the most of, honestly. So we need another large antler. We need a small antler. Two more saber teeth. We need amulet of Debella. Quicksilver. So one and one. Another amulet. Um, we need refined moonstone. And honestly, I'm just going to put one just because we already have one. We need a flawless sapphire. Another quicksilver ingot. And then an amulet of Talos. So we need one of these, one of those, one of those, one of those, two of those, one, one, four, four, six. Okay. All in all, not too bad. Um, so I did want to check about the saber teeth and stuff. I can also check to see if we have a flawless sapphire. Okay, so we need large antlers. Okay, so I got two out of the four. So we'll cross this four out and we'll put two. We need slaughter for scales, small antlers, and saber teeth. That's only one tooth, so we can actually cross this out and put five. Slaughterfish scales, we got two, so we can actually put that. We only need two more. Small antler, we only needed one, so honestly, that part's done. Um, then we just need to check about the flawless enough, I sapphire. Okay, we don't have a flawless sapphire. Now let's, let's see, I think the small antler was down below. I did also get some large antlers. We can do that one right there. We'll do the other one in the cellar. So we just need to go kill some more with the large antlers. We need to kill some more saber cats and some more slaughterfish. Slaughterfish aren't too bad. Um, so we just need a quicksilver, which we can just buy that. Refined moonstone, we can just buy that. 
flawless sapphire I can just look up where to get one okay and then while we're down here we might as well get things organized this safe here we'll put ore into I say this is how I usually set it up so if any of you guys are following along you don't have to set it up this way you can set it up any way you please that's or This one I usually save for ingots. Clay is not an ingot. Okay, um, and then I usually have, let's see, I have three left over. This one I usually put for, like, the different pelts and whatnot. So, like, the chitin can go in there, cowhide, uh, the, these deathhound collars that I don't know what are used for, uh, deer hide, dragon bones and scales wolf pelt I say these are kind of like for actual animal drops like unrefined animal drops rather so ice wolf pelt mammoth tusk saber pelts bear pelts all of these wolf pelt um, this one I usually save for actual building material so like straw straw is a good mm -hmm. one quarried stone nails glass clay and then this like middle one right here that's still empty I usually do like the leather and leather strips just because it's easier to find them this way and that's pretty much how I organize my stuff I also down in this one this is where I'll put like extra pickaxes and axes if I pick them up um, I also store torches in here I do have got I got a hinge on me still But this way, at any given moment, I can just kind of come over here and be like, oh, I have 27 clay, you know, 21 glass, and it's just a little bit more organized. So, like, I have no iron fittings or locks, because those would also go in here. Um, I can also see, like, what I have for the different pelt and actual drops. Leather. I can see what I have for ingots. And this way, hey, I'm low on gold. Hey, I'm low on refined moonstone. Or I only have two steel left. Um, and then, honestly, I usually just kind of just dump all the ore in here. And the other thing is, I do get some free ore in there. Lydia, you're in the way.
So now I can just take this ore. And I usually never uh, refine this ore right away until I need it. So like I won't come in here and like do anything with this corundum until I absolutely need corundum. Same with gold. Like same with iron, quicksilver. So like this way it kind of just stocks up like in here. Um, and you know I buy it, I uh, mine it, stuff like that. We do also have a mannequin here. I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my thing? Honestly, I'm thinking that I want these wolf gear on here. Let's get going then. There we go. I also should have a Skyforge steel. Yeah, so that we can honestly just throw there. There we go. And so this is going to be like my smeltery area. These, I don't know what I usually put in there i think i usually go like helmets armor gloves boots and then like this one i usually save for like a certain kind of weapon and then i put certain weapons in there this is where i usually put shields just because like it's all right here uh and here is just i don't, I, I don't really remember but it's a it's just we got this part at least organized. Um, so now we... A little bit more organized with that. Here, unmatched in all of Skyland. So let's kind of... Sure. So I know I need saber teeth and stuff. So I think... I'll just dump them into here as we get them. So like saber teeth, the scales so like uh more large antlers can go in there the different amulets that i get um honestly i might as well just throw what amulets i do have in here there we go so like at least that's a little bit more organized And then I'd say all we really need is Quicksilver, Refined Moonstone. Yeah, we're almost done with the house. I think we don't have too much longer. Usually I kind of separate these things. So I think we can do that right now. We'll take all the actual jewels not the gems flawless ruby flawless garnet emeralds amethyst diamond like soul gems stay okay um and you do get a safe in here Ooh, what do we got in here there's stuff in here none of that's supposed to be in there um so usually this is kind of like where i dump this stuff Um, this is kind of like where I put like clothing items. Um, right now I'm not too worried about that. Hide shield. One of these. 
See, we got food on us. And a little bit of extra stuff to get rid of. Food goes into here. I do want to make like a um, another house with like a kitchen in it. So like you can make two more houses and let's just say none of my three houses are going to have like the same rooms. Um, like they'll still have like the cellar and stuff like that I think. But as for like the rest of it, okay those are just built ingots. So for like the rest of it, like I'm just gonna, so we got an extra silver and we got an extra iron. Um, so like, I know I want to do like a, there's the tower, there's a trophy room, there's a library. There's just a lot, but then this way, like I can kind of organize my stuff between like the different places. Like this is an armory. This is like where armor can go. Um, you know, bedroom, bedroom stuff. Like when we get the kitchen, all like the kitchen stuff can go there. And then honestly, this is kind of like where I put my soul gems usually. And I think that's really about it. Um, a lot of times you'll probably catch me just let's see what do we got sacks of flour a lot of times you'll probably catch me just um, like coming over like uh, where do I I guess the knapsack is a good spot but um, I'll actually drop off my gold like at home and like I'll have it just like in one spot uh, just kind of like there You know what, let's just take those things, clean up a little bit. So our journals, I think that's for claws. I think this is for miscellaneous stuff that I accidentally pick up. So honestly, like, you know, um, sometimes I even like put it in like the barrel, like just really close to the door. Uh, I could even just put it in this chest here, which is not a bad idea rather than in a knapsack. So let's go ahead and just put it in here. Let's see, is there anything else on me that I don't need? Potions, peril, iron, sh oh yeah, I got the shield and then the other, the mace. this was a one-handed yes so the steel maze can go in there but anyway guys um, I think this is a good wrapping up point for today um, we have most of our house done there should be like one more hour of power which is just gonna be kind of us getting the actual materials needed to finish up the house um, so all we need are, just as a recap, we need five more saber teeth, two more large antlers, uh, two more slaughterfish scales, one amulet of Dibella, two quicksilver ingots, one amulet of Julianos, or however you say that, uh, one refined moonstone, one flawless sapphire, and one amulet of Talos. Unfortunately, unfortunately the amulet of Talos, um, thing is gonna kind of have to wait because there's a quest for that um so you know we'll get there when we get there but with that i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you have not already don't forget to check the description for all the social media links including discord and instagram um i say those are where i usually post most of my updates uh so if you guys want to keep up with that feel free to you know join into either of them uh, but with that, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode. See ya.